if we can pray fervently, God will hear us. Question came up. The people that say they saw, I see, I see, I see. And when they see danger, they cannot speak, uh, 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 speak it out. And the danger will engulf them. Because they see nothing. If they had been seen, they would have seen trouble coming. They saw nothing. If God had sent them, they would have said something. And God cannot send me go without backing me up. If God tells you to go, you don't, you don't need to be afraid of anybody. Go, they are not going to kill you. God who defend Moses in the hand of Pharaoh, in the land of Egypt, the whole Egypt. Is it not the same God? It's the same God. God who helped David in the hand of Saul as a king. Will it, is it not the same God? He will still do the same in your life. Except if God had not sent you. If he had sent you, he will do wonders in your life. Don't be afraid. Don't mind those who they say they saw. Some of them see nothing. When they see, they are afraid to even speak out. When they say, finish, okay, what is the solution? No solution. No solution. Because God has not sent them. If God has sent me, he will give me a solution to the problem. I'm sending you go. I've made you. I still go. I still continue. And he still continue with me. He's been defending me, fighting my battle. He will also fight your battle. Amen. I say God will fight your battle. Amen. 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 You have to come in with God. Today, according to the word here, last Sunday we pray, we talk about uh, prayer is a dialogue. Prayer is a dialogue. Today, you have to commune with God. That means communion with God. You cannot represent God and not be troubled by the hand of the wicked ones. But you will be a winner. I say you will be what? A winner. When they try you, they will always fail. If you see a tree, big tree, tall tree, the wind will be blowing the tree. does not mean the, the tree will die. When the wind stops because the wind will be tired, the tree will refresh. No one will harm you. Amen. No one will destroy you. Amen. Particularly this year, our year of authority, our year of dominion, our own year of power, that whatever we say, God will do what? Confirm it. Say so that is life and death in the power of your tongue. And whatever you say, God will do what? Confirm it. You are born of God to display his own power. You are born of God to display the power of God. But if you close your mouth, you will not exist. That means you close up your destiny in life. There is something that God has given to you, given to each and every one of us individually, according to what we can be able to carry. But he wants us to say something with our mouth. He wants us to communicate with him. Communion, communicating with him so that he will know where we are. He will know our level. I will know how. Whether we are still ready. Because he's ever ready God. He's ever ready God. He's available at all times. But he wants to know whether we are ready. That is why he gave us that authority to do what? To communicate with him. So we can go along. So that we can go along. Praise the Lord. Amen. To display his power through your word, you are communication with him. You display his power through your communication with him. But I want to let you know 
that it is going to be your prayer first before the power will manifest. If you pray nothing, you will gain nothing. You will see nothing. It's your prayer first. And some people see this prayer as their own last resort. That, that means they have tried everything and it's not working. Before they come, remember God. And that is why it is difficult. That's why it's difficult. They have tried everything. Sister, brother, baba. And it's not working. It does not work for them. So they, they now say, okay, what am I going to do? So they said, a prayer. Let me go and pray. That is their own last resort. But prayer is supposed to be the first. Before power can manifest. If every other thing fails, prayer cannot fail. Because God will not fail. But what is prayer? Prayer is asking. Prayer is asking God to intervene in any given situation according to his own word, not your own word. When you are praying, you must pray according to the word that suits your case and your problems. And you begin to see God manifesting. Now they say, that man maybe has juju, maybe has magic power. No! You challenge God according to his word. God, you must intervene. This is your word. He said, I must not be barren. He said, I must not lie. He said, I must not die by motor accident. Uh -uh. Pray that God, this man must be here. The man said, yes, I know I will be here because uh, the Bible told me that this sickness will not be unto death. And the person come, up, come back to life. Tell me, you as a believer, what is your stand with God? Word Liberation Ministry liberating the world with 